Today, we will learn how to perform Google login using Flutter and Firebase. We'll be working with Firebase Core, Firebase Authentication, Google Sign-in, and Cloud Firestore. As a result, we will need to include four dependencies. Open the pubspec.yaml file and add these dependencies under the Dependencies section. Then, execute pubget to ensure they're included in your project. Open main.dart file. Import the Firebase core package. And ensure the main function is declared as async. Initialize Firebase by invoking Firebase.initialize app within the main function. You can now proceed to add an elevated button to enable sign in with Google functionality. To implement Google sign in, create a directory and within it, a Dart file named auth underscore methods dot Dart. File name auth methods. Inside this file, define a class auth methods. Import the Firebase authentication package. And create an instance of Firebase auth to manage authentication. Implement an asynchronous function sign in with Google that returns a Boolean. This function will handle the Google sign in process using the Google sign in package. Import the Google sign in package to facilitate this. Declare a res variable, default value is false. Ensure you handle potential exceptions with a try-catch block. Creates an instance of the Google sign-in class, which is part of the Google sign-in package. This class provides methods and properties to facilitate the Google sign-in process. Then initiates the Google sign-in flow by invoking the sign-in method on the Google sign-in instance. This method opens a native Google sign-in dialog or browser window depending on the platform, where the user can choose their Google account and grant permission to your app. After the user successfully signs in with their Google account, the Google sign-in account object contains information about the user's account. The dot authentication property of this object provides information about the authentication tokens acquired during the sign-in process. This code creates an credential object using the Google auth provider dot credential constructor. The access token and ID token obtained from Google sign-in auth are passed to this constructor. This credential object can then be used to sign into Firebase using Google authentication. After you've created the credential using the Google authentication tokens, you're ready to sign in the user with Firebase using the sign in with credential method provided by Firebase auth instance. User credential user retrieves the authenticated user's information from the user credential object. The user property contains a user object that represents the authenticated user. The conditional check if user equals null is used to ensure that the user authentication was successful and that the user object is not null. Then check if the authenticated user is a new user or an existing user. If it is a new user, enter them into the database. For that, you need to import Cloud Firestore and create an instance of Firestore. Save user information to Firestore after a successful sign-in. Collection, Users, specifies the Firestore collection where we want to store user data. Doc, User.UI, specifies the document ID. It's common to use the user's UID as the document ID. This ensures that each user's data is stored in a unique document. Sets the data for the specified document. Providing a map with fields such as username, UID, and profile photo, along with their corresponding values from the user object. Then set return value to true. If there is any error, the return value can be set to false. Open main.dart. Import the auth underscore methods.dart file. Create an instance of the auth methods class. Add an elevated button with on pressed. Make it an asynchronous function. Call the sign in with Google function. It returns a Boolean value. 
that is stored in a res variable. Check if the res value is true. We need to create a home page for redirection if the res value is true. Create a new directory named screens and within it, create a Dart file named home underscore screen dot Dart. Import the material package and create a stateful widget named home screen. Design your UI within the screen as needed. Returning to main.dart, create a route for the newly created home screen is true and navigate to the home screen if applicable. Before proceeding, ensure your Firebase project is set up. In the Firebase console, create a new project. Authentication should be selected from here. Get started by selecting an authentication method. In this case, I am choosing Google Sign In. Enable it. Select an email. Additionally, enable Cloud Firestore for data storage. Now set up the Apple app and run the project. Click on the iOS icon. Register the app by providing the Apple Bundle ID. Navigate to the iOS folder and run runner.codeproj. and run runner.codeproj. In the signing tab, copy the bundle identifier. Paste it into the Apple Bundle ID field. Then provide the app nickname and register the app. Next, download the Google Services Info.plist file. Drag that file into the runner folder. Ensure that these three options are checked. Then press Next.
continue to console. To use the Google sign-in package, certain settings are required, as explained here. Copy this eighth step. It should be pasted in iOS slash runner slash info dot plist. Copy and paste it after the last key value pair. Copy the reversed client ID from Google service info dot plist and paste it here. Remove these comments. Open the Google service info dot plist file and copy the reversed client ID from here. Open the info.plist file. Paste it inside this string a tag. Then run the app. There is an error on line number 25. Roots do not require a semicolon inside them. Click the Sign In button. The Google Sign In window will open. Enter your email ID and password. Once signed in, you will be redirected to the home page. If you open Firebase and navigate to the authentication section, you will notice that a user is logged in. Similarly, when you inspect the database, you will observe that the details of the new user have been saved. Now, let's learn how to set up on Android. To begin, select Add App and then choose Android. The Android package name can be found in the build.gradle file located in the Android slash app folder. Copy the provided ID and paste it here. Provide an app name. Next, you need to enter the SHA1 field, which is required for Google Sign In. Open your terminal and paste the provided code, then run it. You may also want to include this code in the description. Copy this SHA1. Then paste it here and register the app.
Download the Google Services.json file and drag it into the Android slash app folder. After that, click Next. Additional settings are needed. Open the Android slash build.gradle file. Copy the class path and paste it above. Now, we need to make a change. Copy and paste this ID here. Now, paste it here along with the version number. An adjustment needs to be made. Insert a full colon between them. Next, let's modify the build.gradle file in the app folder. Add this plugin. It should be added in this manner. Additionally, ensure that you set the MinSDK version to 19 or higher. In my case, I'm using version 30. Set multidex enabled to true. Now, you need to copy the Firebase dependency. It should be included at this point. Proceed with Next and Continue. Finally, run the app and click Sign in with Google. The Google login page will open. Log in and you'll be redirected to the home page. Now, go to the authentication section to check. A new login has been completed and a new user has been added to the database. Thank you for watching.